we've reached the end. We've taken this little catwalk they have up here that crosses between the two structures. And if we turn around, guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Oh Look God. at it. We have dirt. <laughs> dirt. <laughs> we are. Well, so here's a good shot of some of the, you know, the the rear, uh, you know, areas of the hotels all along Harbor Boulevard. Uh, all these, for now, they're saying at least they're not committing either way. But if you if you listen if you read the uh, OC registers Q and A, they're a little bit ambiguous about the future of, of the access. They're saying you're still gonna right here. This is uh, I don't know what street that is. What street is that? East shuttle East shuttle something. <laughs> I can't read that far. That's where most people cross from the hotels. That's where everybody crosses actually uh, when they're staying in the hotels here on Harbor Boulevard. Uh, you will not be able to access the parking structure from the hotels. Now we stayed on this side of the street, we're at the Carousel Inn and Suites. This is the hotel that will be raised in a couple months. Disney's already purchased it and it's already set for destruction. And we're gonna actually take a walk down here and this is where the actual walkway is going to be. Uh, the pizza press is going to be demoed too as far as I understand. So it's this building here, I think. Yeah, because you can see the potted plants thing is kind of a theme, so that must be the same piece of property. So this building and that one and those way down at the end as well. What we're doesn't this is a trip like we're walking in the future? That's like crazy. in about it, like, two years we'll two get years, to do a, like a, a blend and we'll get to see I how think this works. Actually it'll be uh, ready uh, when Star Wars Land comes out. It has to be done before that. It has to be done before this, that. Yeah. Okay. This is this I think so anyway. But Star Wars Land is a big project. That's gonna take a while. This won't take as long. Uh, it's just a single walkway and the structure is cement and paint basically you know they don't have to do any design work or anything like that really um so, so they're going to make all these rooms into parking structures right the, is that well no this what we're walking through now is going to be the actual walkway oh, okay. this, it's going to be flat oh my god yeah so <clears throat> so all of this right on the other side of that wall down there is where the transportation hub will be where they park the buses so, you know, a bunch of buses, you know, drop, they're gonna, the buses are going to drop off on the other side of that wall. Is this going to be like the backup parking structure? If oh, like no, this will be whoever. parking structure, too. I mean, it's, I don't know if it's, no, it's not backup. It's, it's a primary. Well, I just, I just think out of all the parking structures, that the best one is probably Mickey and Friends. I would disagree with that. I know. <laughs> I think this one will top that. So, Do you need a chair? No, I think I'm good. Looks like the Matrix chair. So you take the blue pill or the red pill. Um, <laughs> so... So here's the thing, this will be flattened, right? And then the, what, they're, what, they, what the uh, OC Register Q&A said is that you can expect the bridge to, to be similar to what we cross at Downtown Disney, right about where the Lego store is. You don't even know, when you're at, when you're at the Lego store, you don't even know you're on a bridge, but you are, right? This is really hurting my head. I know, right? It's hard to get your head around, but that's the thing. So flat, 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 and then a raised section will start taking you up, and then you cross over you cross over Harbor Boulevard. We've reached the end. We've taken this little catwalk they have up here that crosses between the two structures. And if we turn around, guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Oh my Look God. at it. We have dirt. dirt. <laughs> we are dorks of how We to... are dorks for dirt. Oh, we love dirt. We love dirt so much. There won't be long before you won't be able to see that dirt anymore. And it'll be flat and you'll be seeing the, the, the construction of the new transportation hub. It's going to cut right through here. I keep saying that. There's your long view. That's the longest view we can get. Take you all the way out there to Harbor Boulevard. That's crazy. Now, let's go back out to Harbor because I have something to say. Okay, one last thing. We're back out here at Harbor Boulevard and the exit for the Carousel Inn. This is where the walkway is going to be. We've been speculating. Where does, where does the walkway go? How does it fit in relation to the monorail track? The monorail track is perplexing to me. They must have some plan. Do they go over it or do they go under it? They can't go under it. There's no way. <laughs> Because in order to go under, you'd have to start the decline already at the beginning of Harbor Boulevard. So you can't go under. It's right there. It's too close. Uh, you can't go over it because the, the, the track itself is already, I'm guessing, 12 feet plus another 6 to 8 feet for the monorail. That's 20 feet. I mean, it's, it has to be like up to here. That's, that would be so high, you guys. Plus, it would be too quick of an incline unless you started. Well, the incline is no problem. You can start that way back here and do a, a gradual incline to get that high, right? But then the decline has to take you all the way to the Esplanade nearly. Unless, 
I don't know, that just, it doesn't seem right that you have to go, you, I guess you have to go over though. Now some have said, or I shouldn't say some, it's not gonna cross it at all, that it's gonna, it's gonna decline past where the monorail curves. But I, you can't do that either because then you have to build the bridge crooked. Because it's, you know, there's, that's a, that's a hundred yards. Uh, that's a hundred yards from here to there. Unless you reroute the monorail track. If you reroute the monorail track, to do what? Where could you reroute the monorail track? Do you cut it closer? You have to cut it in. You have to have it hug the uh, backstage areas of Tomorrowland. And you cut it in. Oh my God, I can't, my head hurts. I can't do it. So how do you make, if the bridge goes under the monorail at Downtown Disney and the OC Register is inferring, or that Disney is inferring that this bridge will be like the bridge at Downtown Disney, that means you have to, Oh my God, I have no idea. My brain hurts so much. I'm going to Disneyland again and have some fun. Never mind, you guys. I'm checked out. They have to raise the monorail. That's what it is. They have to raise the monorail. They're not going to reroute it. They're not going to reroute it. They're going to raise it. Can they do that? that yeah, sure. Why not? It, I mean, it'll take, you have to, it, it's going to take a long stretch or because you have to do a, like the grade has to be no more than two or three percent, I would think. Uh -huh. uh, so you have to do it slowly, but that's what it is. They have to raise the monorail. And finally, we're gonna do something that I've never done before. I've never crossed harbor to enter the park here at East Shuttle Area. What a fancy name for a street to cross to get into Disneyland. Doesn't it feel? It's so fancy. They're, yeah, they're very official, creative very Disney. on there. We're gonna enter it in this blinding sun at East Shuttle Area to enter Disneyland. They're gonna to have to raise the monorail. Monorail! You're gonna be a lot higher later. Is this where you're gonna pick me up something? This is the drop-off area that I was telling you about, yeah. Uh, so to, to, yeah, I want to pick that up again. So the OC Register and Disney are inferring that you'll still be able to enter this way. Uh, that, you know, the hotel access will still get here. They're going to they're gonna have another, well, they said the plans are still in progress for what they're going to do with this. So that's where it's like temporary. I think eventually we're going to see this thing remodeled quite a bit right there. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out our Star Wars Land updates from the Knothole Gang, or maybe our Secrets and History videos. Or you can just watch all of our weekly trip reports and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. And don't forget, you can support Fresh Bake by joining our Patreon campaign or by buying a Fresh Bake t-shirt. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Fresh Bake! Looks like almonds, yeah. Almonds, strawberries, feta, chicken, jicama, are those cranberries? What is that dressing? Yeah, it looks like, like spaghetti sauce.